Hey guys, Ivan back here with some more AeroPress footage. In my last video, we did a standalone unboxing of the AeroPress Go. And today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison uh, with the original AeroPress. Uh, so on my right here is a new AeroPress Go. And on my left here is the original AeroPress. Uh, the Go is designed to be a more compact version uh, for travel at work or a, uh, a camping. The AeroPress here is the original uh, tried and tested. Uh, I've used it for travel and work and uh, camping as well in the past, but it usually just hangs around at home. And I imagine it's gonna be the same with the AeroPress Go in here. So let's get into it. Uh, first things first, we're gonna look at the size. Uh, the new AeroPress Go is actually the, all the brewing methods, the tube, the Stera, the wand, uh, uh, the, the original um, uh, spoon, it all actually fits into here in this nice little mug compartment. Uh, whereas with the original AeroPress, uh, including its massive funnel, it's all you know up there and loose. So usually it hangs around in my pantry um, or like this takes up about a little bit of space or so when I'm traveling with it, you know, it gets loose. Now with the new AeroPress Go, Everything fits in the one place. So here's the tube. Here's the spoon. The collapsible stirring spoon or wand. And the mug uh, where everything comes into place coffee wise. Key differences between the AeroPress Go in the original AeroPress is the size of the tube. Uh, this one here has four stops on the original. The new AeroPress only has three stops. But being perfectly frank, uh, when I made a coffee here uh, with the new AeroPress Go, it's just as good as the original AeroPress. Of course, you're gonna get a, lot, a little bit less liquid so this is more appropriate for maybe just one person, but it really doesn't take that long to uh, make multiple coffees. Whereas this one, you know, you can make a few more coffees for multiple, like two or more people, two to three people, depending how strong they like their coffee. But the great thing about AeroPress, as you guys probably would know, um, you can make a really strong coffee, chuck heaps of ground coffee within the tube and just dilute it among multiple cups and you get a good cup all around. Now, other than that, functionality-wise, uh, they're identical. Um, let me just get all these little paraphernalia out of the way. They both work the same. They got the uh, air pressure pump, which you push through. The tube compartment where you put the coffee in. And you put your paper filters uh, within the plastic uh, filter. Uh, one more noticeable difference is uh, the original AeroPress comes with this massive um, filter compartment where you can just stack as many as you have, which is really cool for home use. The AeroPress Pro, however, comes with a just a little mini one like this. You can only store maybe five to 10 paper filters in a go, and then you have to refill it. But this is designed for travel. And if you've got a packet of AeroPress filters, micro filters, um, you can just keep it in your pantry or if you've got original AeroPress, you can just stack them up here uh, before you head off. Um, and that's it. Um, now, the real question most people watching this video will ask is, hey, Ivan, I've, I've got an original AeroPress. Should I get the new AeroPress Go? Honestly, at first, I was like, what's the point? This thing can make coffee, you know, just as good as the new one. There's literally no difference in the coffee making uh, process between the two of them. Uh, but if you want a more compact version and appreciate, you know, a great design and how it can save a bit of pantry space, I actually think the AeroPress Go is a good buy. Um, with Christmas coming up, you know, if you can buy as a Christmas present somebody else, or somebody has original AeroPress, I think they're actually gonna really enjoy using the AeroPress Go. 
uh, even if they're a bit hesitant at first, like I was. Because personally, I love how I can just shove everything within the one compartment, put it in the cup, with a little bit of precision. And it's all nice and packed. Oh, I forgot this, but this can fit as well. Voila, whereas the original AeroPress, you know, you got all the loose components, you got the massive funnel, and you kind of like store it in your pantry like so. Which is fine, you know, I'm just being a little bit pedantic here, but when you got a nice design like this, everything fits in one thing, it's a lot neater. I personally enjoy this a lot more. So yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching my video. I'll leave a link down below uh, where you can grab the both the original AeroPress and the new AeroPress Go. I definitely recommend uh, checking out the AeroPress Go. Um, it's a great little coffee maker and very compact, and I love how everything fits within it.